We thought it was important to take a different approach with this cover because we wanted to remind everyone of a decade of telling stories about all the great things and all the great contributions our alumni have made in their workplaces and in their communities. We had brainstorming sessions you know, with, with, with uh, all of my designers and you know, Scott as well and trying to think of ideas of what other people have done for their covers so we did some research there and you know, we always kind of kept gravitating to let's make something, let's make something real versus fabricating something or creating something digitally in Photoshop. And we decided to create the cover using the 3D metal printer here at Nate. We're trying to figure out, well, how high should we make the letters sort of thing, you know, and it came down to like cutting down pieces of plastic and pieces of cardboard. Jens and his team in Innovation Services were critical to this project coming together. Today we're using a 3D metal printer to build the cover for Tech Life magazine out of stainless steel. Once that uh, process is finished, we'll have a part that can be removed and then it'll be photographed for the cover of the magazine. So the machine lays down a thin layer of metal powder and then a laser actually melts the, the powder into a profile and then the process is repeated until you have a full 3D part. Even at the photo shoot, we're going, hey, how would we do this? So what happens if we do this? The end product is you, you see inclusions and you see bumps and whatnot, but that's all right, because it's, it's real. It's, it's a real thing. The best part about this cover was being able to use technology in an innovative way to make something that was uniquely made. Being able to build the cover for Tech Life magazine, it's a fantastic honor, both as alumni and as a student and I'm hoping that everybody who reads the magazine going forward enjoys it. For me, that's, that's what's exciting about the magazine. You know, you, you can you kind of show your voice, right? And especially when you read about what people are doing, you go, well, that's pretty amazing, right? And you feel proud. <laughs>